All right, good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. I believe it's the 15th of October. As promised, I'm headed back out. Weather today is not supposed to be great. Offshore winds are supposed to be 10 to 15 knots. Probably gonna be seven or eight, a little bit more inshore. My original plan was to go down to the rock pile islands and check it out because nobody had been checking it out. But some buddies of mine were down there yesterday and they said it was just nothing happening. I still want to go, <laughs> despite all that, but we'll see what the wind and the waves and the water looks like when we get outside the bay. I'm not going to buy bait. I'm going to go out to the Whistler Buoy area and see if I can make some mackerel. And then I'm either headed to Islands Rock Pile or the South or North Nine to uh, get some bottom fish, rock fish, whatever. We'll see out there. Whistler, we're gonna see if we can make some bait. We got some people with us wherever we go. 72 San Diego Bay. Conditions aren't fantastic out here, but they're not too bad. This is about 140 feet of water. And the water temp here is 64.2 or 3. Got a gorgeous sunrise coming our way. Woo! A little choppy, but it is gorgeous out here today. I'm loving it. Alrighty, here we are at the rock pile. I was not able to make any bait, just couldn't find any. So I'm gonna start off with some hookup baits. And I've also got some leftover bait from last time that I had uh, vacuum sealed. Man, it's windy out here. But I wanna get me some fish, so here we go. If we run into some bait out here, hopefully we'll uh, be able to sabiki it up. I don't think we're dependent on live bait, but it's always nice to have. So this is a double dropper loop with cut bait, and this is two, either three or four ounce um, hookup baits. Not big, but I finally got something. So we moved up from the rock pile. I just couldn't get anything going on over there, except for that one little rock fish. Um, we're now at the SKR, the South Kelp Bridge, fairly close to the islands. We'll spend a few minutes here. We don't get anything over here. Then I'll head over to the islands, maybe try to sneak in between the two and see if I can find a spot where it's a little bit less windy. Depth to 75. Water temp came up from the rock pile where it was 65.3. Over here it's 66.7. Just got a Benito on the Sabiki. I actually think I broke off two or three other ones. I had three of them on here. They were pulling some drag here for a minute. I don't think it's too big, but you never know. Red. I'll keep this guy. Mikey, 
Uh, I was going to move, but we'll stay here for another minute. This is starting to get fun. There we go. Another red, not huge, and he looks good. So, shoot, want to play this guy or let him go? Kind of small. I'm gonna let him go. Come on, buddy, swim down. There you go. That might have been it. Gonna have to roll back up and do that drift again. Nice or red, I think. Yes. That's a keeper. Got something. Most likely a rockfish. Not feeling very bad. Yeah, but it is a rockfish. He's decent. Got something. Not feeling very big. It's not big, but it's a keeper. Oh, got two. Probably gonna let this little guy go. Not this one though. All right, one more time. See what we can get. Already on? Yep. Oh, it's another mackerel. A little cannibal. So here we have uh, South Island. These are the Coronado Islands. You can see, uh, or maybe you can see the uh, Bluefin pens that are out there. Got the middle grounds through here, and then that's North Island, right up there. All right, I moved up here, a little bit east of North Island. This is a spot I've caught some rockfish at before. Depth is 154, temperature 67.5. Spend a little time here, and if this doesn't work out, I'll stop by the uh, South Nine. Give maybe a couple of deep drops and then um, head home. I got a text from my buddy this morning who is uh, coming back this morning on a from a private charter uh, two days on the Legend, and uh, looked like he got four bluefin. So that was pretty awesome. Oh, yep. Like I said, this is a little bit bigger maybe. I, oh, is he still on? Oh, I might have lost him. Damn it. So I got a double dropper loop. I'm just using a chunk bait mackerel that I picked up over at the SKR. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he got off. 
Shit, that was a nice white fish. Dog on it. I'll net him next time. On again. That was a rockfish. Decent red. A hot spot over here today. Oh, come on. Gotta be a white fish. all over it. Come on. Uh, did I get you? Yeah, I got him. Ah, another white fish. Sounds good, letting you know what I see. Likewise. Nice looking fish. Fish. Oh, it's a big old white fish. Damn. Got it. Freaking giant. I don't think I've ever seen one this big. What a beautiful fish. So here we are at the South Nine. I'm not marking anything, but we're on top of some good structure. It's actually a little bit more shallow than I thought. It's only like 337 here. We just drop it down, let it drift a little bit, and see if anything pops. One more sand dab. I was gonna let him go, but he had swallowed the hook, so I didn't have much of a choice. Ended up being a pretty good day. I don't know what my total count on fish is, but I got a few. Um, just to go over and recap what happened with me over the last couple of weeks, I was in Portugal um, for 10 days up until the Friday before last. I uh, came back Friday night, decided I was gonna go fishing. Fish Dope had reported that the uh, 
302 down to the 371 was there was a lot of tuna i ended up going solo and went down to that area couldn't find anything ended up rolling back up to the 182 got skunked that day nothing uh same thing friday got skunked with my buddy uh dean and his his buddy frenchy so i decided i was going to switch it up today i thought about going offshore but in the end i decided to stay a little bit more local because the weather the winds there's not much surface well but the wind's not that great today it's pretty bumpy on this little tiny boat so i had fun we'll see if i get another chance to go out and get some tuna or not um who knows